Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for July. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, it could resonate at any time in July. So it might not resonate the moment you watch it. You know, this is kind of like a preview. And not every single reading is for you. I, I have to say that because there's a lot of people that will comment, you know, something stupid because the reading wasn't for them. Okay, it, 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 you know, if it's for you, it's for you. If it's not, it's not. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy. What do we have for Gemini for the month of July? The sun. You know what the sun is? The sun is happiness. Warmth. This is this is glowing. This is this is uh you know a very vibrant energy. You may be glowing this month. This is also like a rebirth. So, you know, it's a, it's a happy time. It's probably going to be a happy month for you. You're probably going to be glowing or shining really bright, okay, or really, really hot, okay. So, you know, let's see what we got here. Gemini. What do we have for Gemini for July? Wow. Take a, you guys are going to be right in your own power by the looks of things. Considering this is one of your cards and all. The magician. The magic. It's like you are the magic. You have the magic. You have the power. You have the resources. You can have whatever you want by the looks of things. The Empress reversed. Somebody may not be focusing on their motherhead, motherly duties as much as they should. Somebody could be neglecting their children. I mean, that's what this is. Somebody could be overindulging. Maybe you need to find a way to balance out some responsibilities or maybe you need to make some sort of compromises in your life. I'm, I mean, I don't know. We got somebody here that is standing in their power, right? Very, very powerful individual here. But this is, you know, you may be trying to do too much. Maybe you're spreading your yourself a little thin. Maybe your children need your attention. I'm just being honest with you. Somebody could be overindulging, you know, and they need to balance out some sort of, you know, situations. Give some to this, give some to that. Maybe you know, somebody needs to reevaluate. I just, I don't know where that message is coming from, but it's coming. All right. There be, could be a little bit too much playtime. <laughs> I don't know where that's coming from, but somebody needs to hear that. I don't know. I don't know how I'm getting this from these cards, but this, you know, I feel like you, this is, this is temperance. Maybe you need to temper it down, you know, maybe, maybe you are glowing. Maybe you're, you're looking really hot or you're feeling really hot or you're feeling really good and you're out having a fun and maybe your children need you. That's a message somebody needs to hear. Mm, King of Wands. This is somebody who takes action. This is somebody who, you know, 
wants what they want and they they it's like they, they may be taking you away we may we may, we could have somebody that is taking you away from your responsibilities or something like that i mean just keep that in mind could be it could be an aries leo sagittarius could be any other sign but um, we have somebody here who is very adventurous could be a business owner could this guy is probably you know who, or a person this person is very adventurous this person doesn't like to sit still you could be dealing with this person who's you know wanting wanting you to to do all kinds of things and you have to you know Let's get some more cards. Find a way. You have to find a way to balance out all your responsibilities. Put it that way. Anyway, this is a level of discontent. This Four of Cups. And it has to do with children. I think it has to do with children. It has to do with mothering responsibilities. I feel like, you know, you're probably at a point where... That you're, you may be feeling a little overwhelmed with um, a relationship. You know, I feel like you want a relationship. You're, you're open for love and there's an opportunity for love here. Probably there's a bond. There's a deep bond here or there's, there's, a, there's an unexpected bond that has come into your life. And you're thinking about how you can fit this into your current family dynamics, okay? Uh, you know, there's definitely, you know, there could be an upcoming celebration or a relationship that, you know, if you haven't met somebody, say you're single, you could meet somebody at a celebration and there could be some sort of uh, situation that moves very quickly into some sort of relationship okay say if you meet somebody you can meet somebody unexpectedly at some sort of celebration or gathering and all of a sudden you have to fit this person into your life or that has happened i feel like there's a level of of discontent over a commitment over being in a relationship and i think you want to be in a relationship i think that you want this love i think that you want to want to you know follow your heart but there is a but the but is it had, has something to do with you know neglecting your family whatever that means i don't know um now the the, the four of wands reversed is unexpected and a relationship is is becoming more committed so there's an unexpected relationship where you could get into a commitment or you're you're in a commitment you didn't expect it so i think i just repeated myself like i do quite often 21 this is the world card six of cups reversed and the seven of wands it's like yeah you got too many irons in the fire right you got too many irons in the fire. You know, it's like you're at, you're up against too much. Too much. <laughs> that's that's too much, right? Irons in the fire. That's what we got here. These are irons in the fire. All right? I feel like there's children that are in this reading that they may be feeling neglected or you feel like you're neglecting them or something like that. I think you've got a major new beginning here. The world card is a phase of your life that is coming to an end. Some of you could be getting engaged. Some of you may be meeting a life partner. Somebody you, of you may be getting married. There's, there's something significant happening here that you didn't expect to happen. And it's affecting your, your foundation. It's affecting your family dynamics in some way. Okay? It's funny, I'm playing my ring. I don't know how that happened. Anyway, um, if you are completely single, you could be reconnecting with somebody from your past, somebody that you grew up with, somebody from your childhood. Maybe that's who you have connected with. I feel like we have a love connection here, and we have somebody here that it's like this person is... This person really wants to take care of you. And this person is family-oriented, so... Or maybe they're not. I mean, maybe they're not. 
Maybe they're taking you away from your family. They're causing you to lose focus. I think you have feelings for this person or this person has feelings for you. But this person doesn't... I mean, this is the uh, page of pentacles reversed. This could be a dead end, okay? This is, I mean, I hate to give you that message after this, but the page of pentacles reversed, this is a, this is a blockage standing in the way of achieving your goals or something standing in the way of something. Or this could be that you didn't plan this. You didn't plan for this to happen. So I think we have somebody that has entered your life and you didn't plan for it. And maybe there's, there's, there's family dynamics that are in the way. That's probably a better way to say it. Three pentacles reversed. Oh, so this is, uh, you may not be on the, sa on the same page as this person that you're dealing with. They not, may not understand your responsibilities to your family. Interesting. Because this is lack of working together, lack of respect, you know, lack of teamwork, somebody that doesn't uh, respect your responsibilities. And you may be asking a friend for, for advice in this, you know, you may become, there could be a friend that gives you some heartfelt advice or a family member. So, you know, maybe you're, you're asking for advice and you may receive some heartfelt um, guidance from somebody. So pay attention. Pay attention. You be, be careful. Be careful. Seven of Swords reverse. Be careful. That's what this means. There could be some deception here. You could, you know, I feel like you may have feelings for somebody. that may be taking you away from something. You really need to be careful. Be careful. Be... Nine of Wands. Be careful because there's consequences for every little thing that you do, honestly. Okay? I think we have somebody here that is getting off track with that page of pentacles, they're getting off track because there's a person that has entered their life and maybe you need to set some boundaries. I mean, oh goodness gracious, this is determination and perseverance. Oh, not really focused on relationship, family. Be careful. You you know, I really, this is be careful. I feel like you could be dealing with a person that doesn't see your family responsibilities the same way you do. So I don't know who this message is for. But we got somebody here who is not focused really on a relationship. Whether it's a family or it's a love relationship, it's like... You could be dealing with a person that you really don't see eye to eye with, but underneath with that Queen of Cups, your need for love, your desire for love may, may give you those rose-colored glasses, okay? And I don't know who this message is for. Be careful because you, this, that is be careful, be careful. I feel like you, you may feel like, you know, this person has come to save you, you know, but I'm not sure whoever this person is has the best of intentions. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Um, yeah, the King of Cups reversed. Please look up the meaning. This man does not have the best of intentions. That's the meaning. And I can't make that up. He may present himself as 
the father of love, okay? But that's not who he really is. And I hate to give you this message. This is a lesson. The world card is a lesson. And I can see that somebody here is very discontent. Okay? Yeah, we got somebody here that is really looking at this man. So we we got somebody here that is questioning this person's, you know, ways. You look where she's looking. I mean, looking at this person, it's like, hmm. It's like you kind of know. You kind of know that something isn't right. And I feel like you have you have the opportunity this month I mean that magician card that's an opportunity to bring success to your life Well you got somebody here that is really discontent with how things are going Holding on, and you know, the, this is the death card reverse. This is this is a dead end. Not, and it's funny that I said dead end right here. The death card reversed is a dead end. Be careful, and you, be careful, be careful. You may be looking at something that is going to. Not last, and I can't. I'd like to pretend, but I can't. <laughs> oh, the tower. There is about to be some sort of disruption. Okay? This is a false sense of security. It's a false foundation. Be prepared for... A storm. Okay? Be prepared for some stormy weather that is going to force some sort of change. A change in your circumstances. Somebody is holding on to a false foundation. And it's about to crumble. It is going to crumble. Whether it crumbles this month or whenever, it's going to crumble. And I'm sorry to bring you this message. Queen of Pentacles. This is a card of stability, security, motherhood. She's motherly. She's abundant. She's responsible. She's disciplined. She's loyal. Devoted. She's grounded. So we have somebody here that is about to step back into reality. I think the roses colored glasses are about to come off. So I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If <laughs> this is like this, there could be a relationship, honestly, I mean, that is coming to an end with the Ten of Cups reversed because somebody is, you know, wanting peace. Knowing their value. Being responsible. So I feel like there's a major change here with this tower card. With all these cards. We got a major change coming. I think there's going to be some sort of uh, power shift. I think you're going to take the power back from whoever this person is. That had, This is if you consider this the emperor. All right. The King of Wands? Absolutely. It's like you're going to take the power back from somebody who has been very dominant in your life. They have been dominating your decisions. They've been dominating your 
home or your family or whatever. I feel like you're about to take your power back because you see that this is false. You see that this isn't going to go anywhere. You see that this is causing too much disorder. There's a lesson that has been learned here. And it's about value. It really is about value. It's about self-worth. It's about family. So Gemini, I really feel like you can you should be prepared for some sort of disruption in your life that is going to change. It's going to change your your location or somebody else's location or it's going to change uh, your destination. Okay, it's going to change your destination. There could be a fight. There could be, I don't know what it's going to be. Whoever you're dealing with, it's like they don't see your value. Or they see your value, but they don't see your family's value. Or they don't see your children's value or something like that. And I feel like you're about to, you know, take the power right back away from this person who has doesn't have good intentions. This person is emotionally withdrawn. But I think you're, you have feelings for this person. I think that you, you, you may even love this person. Or you love the idea of this person. You may get some advice from one of your friends that says, you know what? You got to be practical here. You have responsibilities to take care of. Something like that. So anyway, I don't know who this reading is for. I'm sorry, but I feel like we have somebody here that is going to experience some sort of major disruption in their life that changes their destination. If this person hasn't come into your life, you know, some of you, some of you, I mean, right around the corner is this Aries Leo Sagittarius. So if you want to go, I could read these cards for the next three hours. These, these cards right here, I don't even need to lay any more down. We could go a different route. We have, we could have somebody coming into your life, coming to the rescue to save you from an individual that doesn't have good intentions. They could be coming into your life to, to take you away from this individual who doesn't focus on a relationship that doesn't know your value. This person could come in that does see your value. And that causes the upheaval. There could be a fight, honestly. There, I, don't, I hate to say that shit, but there's going to be some sort of rude awakening here. There's going to be some upheaval. Be prepared for some stormy weather. And there's probably two people here. You got one person who is not a good person, but you got somebody else that you may be coming in to save the day. They see your value. They see your beauty. They, they see your devotion. This could go on and on. I got to end it here. But I feel like you you're probably going to have somebody... Maybe even fight for you, okay? Um, I think you're beautiful. I think you're glowing. I think that you are vibrating at a high level. And I think the power is going to be, you're going to have the power to choose. Between two people. That's what I see. Good luck.
Sorry, I didn't focus that in sooner. I got in, I got right into it now, didn't I? Um, is what it is. Good luck. <laughs>